Okay, back with you on the Bronx Buzz. I am very happy because a very good friend of mine, a longtime friend of mine, uh, has found her freedom. She is no longer going to be the executive director of the Bronx River Arts Center, and uh, she is Gail Nathan. And it is nice to see you uh, any time of day. At, uh, and welcome to the Bronx Buzz, Gail. Thank you. Glad to be nice here. Nice to have you with us. And you brought one. Um, more one, maybe. one more. Well, you never know. <laughs> you come, you do something spectacular. Yeah. We'll have you back. And yeah. um, my my um, buddy and neighbor, because she lives right near me, but she is a resident artist over there at the Bronx River Art Center. It is Maya Siroki. Nice to see you, Maya. Hi, Gary. Hi, nice Gail. to have you. Let's uh, start with you, Gail. Um, start and finish with you, Gail. Um, uh, let's see, there's going to be a gala on, uh, let's see, I got the date, is Wednesday, October 16th. Very, very exciting. Um, there is uh, going to be uh, all kinds of uh, the music. Papa Vasquez will be there uh, and, and other uh, people. Um, Gail, how do you feel knowing that after, what, 25 plus years at the Bronx River Arts Center, you're not going to have to wake up in the morning and say, oh, I got to go to work today. Um, how, how are you feeling right now after, after getting to this point? I, I, I feel good. I just, I feel comfortable. You know, that's a funny word to associate with this kind of moment, but I really feel comfortable. Um, I, uh, I love what I do. I love what I did for the art center. Um, I really did work my tail off. Everybody knows that. Um, but, uh, uh, it's the relationship between the arts and my personal practice has always been melded together. And uh, I, I don't feel that it's, you know, that nasty word retirement. I'm not right. I know you didn't that. want me to that notice. I didn't use it. I no, said you I found know, your freedom. My freedom. Um, but it is, uh, it's not so much even being, breaking away to freedom is it just being able to shift the balance some and really get the uh, practice more solid again um, but you know I looking back and I'm doing a lot of looking back I've been working uh, in relationship to community all the way back into the early 70s wow. when I worked at the Bronx Museum um, so I, 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 I remember, as you know, I've been with you a number of times. I remember the days when you had to really work like crazy to um, find space and to, to run programs. And you did it nonetheless, despite not having the beautiful building that you have now. Um, you know, did you ever get discouraged and say, oh, goodness, we're never going to be able to find real space? I mean, we, I think you worked in the community board offices uh, there were there were other. I believe there was a, another reception in another uh, home somewhere. I mean, we there did was, all kinds oh, of yeah, things. Yeah, we did great things. We worked at we uh, installed uh, at the uh, Bronx Music Heritage Center for a half a year or maybe even a whole year. We were at Bronx Art Space originally for a couple of years. We we shared Bronx Art Space's beautiful gallery for a couple years. Um, when it turned out that we were going to be out of our building for longer than we thought, um, yes. we had to pull out of that. But one of my favorite places was when we were at the um, uh, Italian Banquet Hall in Arthur Avenue, thanks to um, wow. Frank Tracy of the uh, bid, you know, or the, or the uh, Arthur Avenue bid, and he just let us go in there and we okay. Gail, um, I, 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 um, I'm applauding because your commitment to knowing that this was the right thing to do, that we have to get this done, that arts is the center of the, of the soul of the borough of the Bronx, um, was on, it didn't matter where, as long as you were getting it done. Now I will tell you this, and maybe you remember this, you and I were doing an interview before the big new building over there in West Farms was opened and you were frustrated because the city wasn't doing what it needed to do. And you and I were standing in front and a, a woman and her son came by and she said, when are you going to open this building? We need programs for our kids. And, um, and, and I think after we did that, that little story, uh, the city took heed and, and, and made it happen. So mm -hmm. uh, a $15 it, million and, dollar capital renovation. Right. Ahead, and it, and it's, you know, it was, it was tricky because, 
reality, and I didn't notice realize this until we started moving back in, is that because we were out so long, eight years, all the kids we had coming uh, were had grown up. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> and, and left and went to college. I don't see how to start again. Listen, I want I want to just show some stuff. You had sent us some pictures to show, and um, and so Anderson, roll roll some of these uh, pictures of Gales. We took a couple. So these are paintings that you have done. Yeah, yeah. These are um, uh, these are uh, gouaches on on paper. Most of them. There's a picture that's on canvas, um, but these are the sorts of things I've been doing while I'm, you know, waiting to the big transition to go back onto canvas. These but, are beautiful. Um, thank you. Well, I put these up for sale too in the in the um, art auction. Now that's a how, big painting. How, how, this, um, how much? Well, let me just one, ask you. Very, how, right, you can finish what you're saying. Go ahead. So this, this painting is called Time Bomb Growing Up in the Bronx. And it's a very big painting because I grew up, I was born and raised in the in the South Bronx on 49th Street and near Yankee Stadium, actually. Right. So um, this picture, uh, it, it's big. And I think we're going to install it in our event space for the party. Um, right. it's oh, not, for that, it's that not, was that party that we were just talking about on October yeah, 16th. Yeah, the gala, the gala, um, right. Uh, Gail, um, I know you will congratulate Maggie Greenfield, who at least is the interim executive director, and, and she, many people know from the Bronx River Alliance, but now she's moving to the Bronx River Arts Center, uh, so we will uh, need to do that. I want to bring Amaya uh, Soroki in. Maya, you are a resident artist. Now, I wasn't aware of that. You um, do your artwork. You, like, have a studio in the Bronx River Arts Center. Is that, that what I'm to understand? Yes, I have the honor and the privilege to have a beautiful studio uh, on the third floor of the Bronx River Art Center, um, amongst some other artists there, um, and I've been there a year. And and what has having that um, studio done for you and your creativity and your art, and of course being in that community, I'm sure is very very special. Well, I'll say first and foremost that having for for a visual artist to have a studio is critical. And um, studios are hard to come by and they are extremely expensive um, as is all real estate in New York City. So the studio program at Bronx River Art Center is um, an incredible um, asset for artists because it is subsidized. Um, and uh, you know, so our, our, our rents are very low um, and it's, a great amount of space. Um, it's beautifully kept. And, and I, I want to just add the notion yeah. of being in a community like that, as and opposed being, to if you were to like just rent a, a studio. Well, that's nice, but here you're surrounded with people, and, and I'm sure it, it stimulates. Absolutely. I go like yeah. this, but it's mostly this stuff that it stimulates. <laughs> Sometimes it's this. Um, um, could, yeah, yeah. So um, we're, I, before we run out of time, I want to show some of your stuff, and then we're going to talk about the, the big event uh, to celebrate Gail's work. So let's just show a couple of things that um, Maya has done, and what, what just explain what these are that you're working on. So this, this is, is a performance incredible. I'm working on. This is we. I had a work in progress uh, sort of rehearsal period in Poland this summer, and I made those garments um, wow. from patterns of my artwork. Um, so that's an ongoing project. Great. Too 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 complicated to explain at the moment, but. Um, keep, keep, let let's um, Anderson. Let's keep it going. Here's yeah. some. Uh, yeah, so these are, I've been working in textiles lately. So these are actually needle points. Um, this wow. one took about six months to make. So and how that, large is that if you see it? It's in uh, 20 inches by 18 inches. So kind of wow. large for needle points. That's a, I was going to say, that's a lot of, let's keep going. We got a couple more to show. Same. So these same, are all same. needle points. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. must have some patience. Now, do you design the needle point? I, I'm assuming you don't buy like ready-made patterns. No. So it's, it's, <laughs> I actually make a, a painting on the, the needle point canvas and then, um, so, so it is wow. a little, after I make the painting, then I get to follow and, and make up the pattern and the colors. And of course the texture is uh, phenomenal. 
um and look at these you know it's funny when i saw them first i said well these are beautiful paintings i didn't realize they were needlepoints the texture must be beautiful how large is this one for example same thing it's this one's 20, 18 20, by 20. But, yeah wow yeah that, that's a very very good sign. and this is a cyanotype which i've been making um cyanotypes for a number of years but these are all i've been thinking about um abstracted abstraction, but also um, organic shapes um, mixed with um, more architectural and artificial um, landscapes. Do you, do you so, paint and work every day? Oh, I wish I have to. Um, I have to have a day job too. I was so. going to say you have to have <laughs> like a real life. Um, all right. So let's just go back to um, the 16th. Um, Gail, it's probably going to be very exciting to you. For, by the way, for people who want to purchase tickets, I've got it here. It's bronxriverart.org slash gala. And you can purchase tickets for uh, this uh, October 16th, um, uh, 7 o'clock uh, reception. Gail, how are you going to feel that night? Oh, I'm going to party my... Oh, I guess I can't say it. I'm going to par, par, party my butt off. Um, no, I mean, really? It's, that's it's, what you're going to do? No. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you do that. I've known you all these years. I don't think I've ever oh, seen you do that. You haven't? Oh, well, you maybe I have, maybe I don't know you as well as I think I do. Um, <laughs> well, well, that that's great. And you were pretty excited about getting um, Papa Vasquez, Papa um, Vasquez to be there. Yeah, yeah that that is. Oh, um, you know, a lot of the people um, that I've invited to do specific things are people who have a history with the art center and me. Right. And Papo, um, I met actually um, uh, when we did a project funded by the Rockefeller Brothers to support uh, musician composers to create live, live living musician composers to create new works. And we did, uh, I got connected to Papo, we selected him and he wrote an incredible piece called River Rising. Um, uh, 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 Subu El Rio, and um, and it's a fantastic piece, which unfortunately is still recorded because he did it for um, a full orchestra. You um, you um, um, you always understood the relationship between art and music, putting a grand piano in the Bronx River Art Center and making it a concert space, and and, and everything else. Uh, I will just read this right off of the website. For 25 years, Gail Nathan has been the heart and soul of the Bronx River Art Center it's, it's, as its executive director. Her tenure has had a profound impact on both the Bronx River Art Center and the Bronx community, guiding the art center through trials and triumphs with unwavering dedication. And I think that is the way I want to conclude this segment. Mazel tov, congratulations. The 16th is going to be a beautiful night at the Bronx River Art Center. Uh, which of course where it should be, and again, uh, it is uh, Bronx River dot Bronx River Art dot org slash gala for tickets. Maya, thank you so much. Thank you. Keep doing it. You you're going to still be there. She might not, but you're going to have to keep going. And it, well, I'll be there because I'm in my studio. Um, I I do stay as a studio artist in the. Oh, prisons. so you'll be there too. So they're not yes. getting rid of you. All right. <laughs> anything, anything else, but, real quick, because we got to go. It's a super moon on the, uh, it's actually the 17th, but it's early in the morning on the 17th. So the 16th right. is going to have a super moon rising. We're, and we'll and be we'll on the rooftop. You can see that. All roof. right, we got to go. Thank you all for joining us. And uh, that will do it for the Bronx Buzz. And as we always say, if the curtain don't fall and the creek don't rise, we'll be back next week. Good night.